that's my purpose. What if it's all I'm good for? You're still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. This is what you want, then. Don't worry, Clive. It is. This burden... I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow, I see now that they are all a part of me. my life to those I love, and I will gladly bear your burdens too, till my last breath. Clive. I promise you, Jill, we will find a way to escape this fate. I one day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. I never thought a smile could bring me 
So much joy. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Entschuldigung, dass ich den letzten Part übrigens meiner Katze beendet habe. Das lag einfach nur daran, weil das hätte einfach, das wäre zu lang geworden, die Folge. Und ich mag es eigentlich nicht, wenn die Folgen mehr als 30 Minuten sind. Deswegen will ich das immer vermeiden. Ich schaffe es natürlich nicht immer, aber wenn ich es vermeiden kann, dann will ich es vermeiden. Und deswegen habe ich das halt gemacht. Aber willkommen zurück zu Final Fantasy 16. Das war jetzt doch jetzt gerade eine schöne Szene zwischen Chill und Clive. Und jetzt haben wir auch Shiva. Die Macht des Eises. Gleich hat sich ein Stück der ins Shiva einverleibt. Bla bla. Mit Shivas Esperkraft Frostschleier kann klar schnell in alle Richtungen um den Boden gleiten, um Angriffen auszuweichen oder die Distanz zu gegnern. Jetzt gucken wir erstmal, wie, mach, 
wie machen wir das jetzt? Wir haben natürlich Titan, die wir theoretisch austauschen könnten. Aber nein, der ist zu gut. Da machen wir mal Phoenix raus. Ja, und dann bekommt man wahrscheinlich noch Odin, ne? Ja, weil da oben ist ja noch Platz. Dann ist hier wahrscheinlich dann Odin. Tränen der Gnade. Ja, dann schließen wir jetzt noch eine Sidequest ab, würde ich sagen. Machen wir das hier. Oder was ist da oben? Ja, machen wir das hier, weil das ist gleich in der Nähe. Und ich will sowieso gerade in die Richtung, weil wir haben jetzt so ein Eis irgendwas bekommen. Damit können wir bestimmt eine neue Waffe herstellen. Daran bin ich natürlich auch sehr interessiert. Ja genau, blühende Amos können neue Gegenstände hergestellt werden. Ja. No scratches, right? Anything else? Genau die hier. Er, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan Stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing. And that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. I've never been one to play favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Used to say the ingredients even exist anymore. Well, wow. that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget. You've got a reputation to uphold. Sprich mit Hapokritas. Äh, ah, der ist hier drin, okay. Ah, ja, stimmt, der ist es, ja. Hippocrates, I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valicia, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the chances stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find skyworm livers and drake's mint. Ah. 
So the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. Now, <sighs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. Yes. How very Sanbriquois. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. Pflücke Engelshauben an der Küste von Nordstedt und erlege, erlege einen Blaurückenweibern an der Küste von Nordstedt. Wenn sie das gesagt hat, ist ihr scheißegal, was mit dem Boot passiert. Wie viele Quests jetzt schon wieder da sind. Da ist wieder eine Quest. Alter, wie viele Leute... Wie viele Leute leben denn da, dass die immer eine Quest haben? Da, da auch schon wieder eine? Und da auch wieder? Ach Leute, was ist denn da los? Überall, wo wir letztes Mal schon die Quest abgeschlossen haben, sind wieder Quests. Oh, das wäre jetzt natürlich ein krasser Plot, das hätte ich mein, äh, das wär, wenn das mein Ding... Falsche Safe-Fall wäre aber nein der richtig ist, sonst hätten wir ja die Story nicht weiter also sonst hätten wir ja die Story nicht weiter gemacht. That's the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. Back. 
do you recommend? So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And, uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? <coughs> so, not fit for consumption then. What? What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force, a force of nature even, a maelstrom of flavor and sensation, a graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith? I'll give it some thought. So Leute, wie ich sagen, machen wir im nächsten Part weiter bei Final Fantasy 16 und ciao.